I'm okay with it as long as LeBron James is again okay with reinviting comparisons to Michael Jordan. To to again be graded on the Michael Jordan scale as he was coming out of high school on the young Michael Jordan scale in Cleveland. And let's reiterate what happened. LeBron chose to wear 23 coming out of high school. Right. He chose to continue the pregame powder toss ritual of Michael Jordan. Am I right about that? Yes. Carry it on. And to me, he was announcing to the world, the next MJ is here. And I was totally okay with that because I'd watched several of his high school games and I thought he had the talent to be the next MJ. Right. But I began to grade him again on the young Michael Jordan scale. And I took a lot of heat for that, saying it was unfair. I don't think it was unfair. But we know what happened in LeBron's final season in Cleveland. As he had crumbled again and again, I think under the, the pressure to live up to the jersey number that he was wearing, we saw what he just said. He started a campaign to say, let's retire 23 permanently in this league. I don't want to wear it. Nobody should wear it if I'm not going to wear it. And I thought, great. And as LeBron said, if, if MJ can't be the logo, which has been a theme of yours on this show, right? Yep. That, that MJ should be instead of Jerry West, I, the logo. Absolutely. So LeBron was giving in to the fact that that's not going to change. So why not? Why not retire 23? And to me, LeBron backed off and gave up and said at that point, pretty soon, I need more help. I'm going to join forces in Miami with D. Wade and Chris Bosh, and I am going to change my jersey number to six. I'm not exactly sure why he chose six. It was the birth date of LeBron Jr., October 6th. Mm -hmm. Dr. J, which we, who we had on, on in yes. L.A., was his second favorite player and obviously wore number six. And I thought, fine, that's fine with me. But now it, it, it appears to me that as he goes back to 23 and back home, he's saying, well, I don't any longer want to honor 23. Mm -hmm. I want to out 23, the greatest 23 ever. I now want to re-challenge Michael Jordan. I've got to go back to re-evaluating LeBron on the Michael Jordan scale. And I'm going to say it again. I thought all of us gave LeBron a little bit of a pass in this past NBA Finals. Everybody except you. Okay. But but I, I thought <laughs> I was soft on it. Uh -huh. Okay. It was his team. He was by far the best player on the floor, not on his team, but on the floor. And his team lost the NBA Finals by a record number of points. Oh, is it 70 points differential? Th that would be unacceptable now if he's going to wear 23 to me. I'm back to saying, okay, show me, show me MJ. Well, <laughs> figure you'd come up with something else to get on LeBron James about. What I will say to you is this: I have a problem with it too, but for an entirely different reason than you. My problem with it is based on the sound that we played prior to you mm -hmm. talking about it. And that is, you talked about how much respect you have for Michael Jordan, what he meant to this league, mm -hmm. and you are on the record saying you don't believe anybody should ever wear this number again. So if you've made such a proclamation, made such a profound statement, then why not honor it like you've been doing? So, it, to me, it's just that simple. I mean, it's nothing to write home about. It's nothing like, oh, my goodness, LeBron James should be criticized and insulted well, because I, I of it. It's not it's the no end big, of the world. It's not, it's not, it's not the end of the world. All there's I'm saying, some significance but, but, here, but, but, though. But it's, I understand what you're looking for. For me personally, it's simply about this is what you said about Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. This is what you said he meant to the game and what the reason you said you didn't want to wear the number 23 any longer. I don't know how you come back from that because that's what you said. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? From, yeah. the stand, from the standpoint, it's number 23. I mean, it's MJ we're talking I, about here. You got so, it. So on that level, I get it. But again, it's no big deal. I mean, he's got a right to do it if he wants to do it. In Cleveland, he is Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I mean, in Cleveland, on his home court in his hometown, maybe that's what it is. And so I don't mind it at all. It doesn't bother me. It's just that Michael Jordan is the closest thing to a deity or a deity in mm -hmm. the sport of basketball in my eyes. I agree with you. He is a godlike figure to me. Yep. And, 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 and if I feel that way and you've gotten indications from the LeBrons of the world that they feel that way and you said that you weren't going to wear the jersey, number 23 anymore, yep. then don't do it anymore. That's okay. just me. But again, you know, to each his own. Okay, I'm going to give LeBron one small break here. Mm -hmm. Is it possible that... We all project that, that someday LeBron's number will be retired in Cleveland. Oh, there's no Correct. doubt about there's, that. There's absolutely no, no, there's no doubt. Okay. There is no doubt. 
it, it does clarify things if he goes back to 23 instead of, I don't know, what if he chose 32 or whatever, six for that matter, because it would get more complicated. Which number are you going to put in the rafters? That's the only small break I'm going to give him. I think when LeBron thinks about Miami, the only people he needs to think about are his teammates and the organization that okay. he played for. I'm fine the with that. The fan base in Miami, you have to understand, they can get really loud. It's very exciting. We all know how much I love being there. Mm. But let's be clear. These folks sometimes didn't show up until the midway through the second quarter. Okay. The fan but, base, let me, when you talk about... that was already happening pre-LeBron. I, okay. I know that, but yeah. what I'm saying to you, but he didn't change it. No. That's what I'm saying to you. So what I'm saying to you is this. When you look at the fan bases throughout the league, better fan base legitimately in Cleveland, New York, you know, even Sacramento. Go to states the best right now in the league. I mean, but you look around the league. Okay. These people are there from tip-off time. They're rabid. They're hyped. You give them a contender, they pack the house, open and tap, play it, introductions, everybody's Fine. hyped. It doesn't work that way in Miami. So for me, you know, I'm not going to sit there and say that they're not good fans because they do support the team and you go to walk the streets of Miami, they're very supportive of the team. I'm not trying to disrespect them on that level. But at the same time, you know, when you talk about a rabid environment that get players, their hair standing up on their mm -hmm. skin, they got goosebumps, they're hyped about ready to play. Miami's not the city you think about. No. There's a, there's, I could give you at least 15 other NBA cities that are better. Okay, so why they should LeBron James keep yeah. trying to reach back to say, I'm still with you. Because, I got because, two families. Well, I, I got don't Miami know, and Cleveland. One, one, one,